was wondering how many different types of plants are in the garden. That's a great question. How many different types of plants are there in the garden? <gasps> there are lots. And you know what? You know, a good way to think about it is what we call plant families. The types of plants are grouped in families. And we're going to go discover all the different kinds of families we have. And then in the families, there's many different types of plants in those families. So let's go start. Well, we're here in the pumpkin tunnel. Let's start with a pumpkin family, which is called the curcurbit family. Isn't that a fun name to say? Curcurbit. Farmer Carrie, it's cucurbit. Oops. So the cucurbits are squash. It's cucurbit. Now look at our pumpkin tunnel. This one is just starting, but we're going to go down to the end of the pumpkin tunnel where I'm going to show you a distinctive. You know what distinctive means? Distinctive means a special feature of the cucurbit family. Cucurbit. Okay. Now look at the squash. Look at the pumpkins. Look at. Can you? Can you imagine, do you remember when they were growing up when we first planted them? And here is a pumpkin, and look, pumpkins, squash, they like to vine a lot of them, summer bush, but this is a vining squash, and you can see a little baby, that's actually a winter squash, I think. <gasps> look, here's a baby long pie pumpkin. That looks like a zucchini, but it's actually a pumpkin, and it's going to turn orange. Now, what I want to do is show you some flowers because one of the things about families, how you can tell them apart, is by how they make flowers and how they make seeds. So let's go see how a pumpkin makes seeds because as we know, without seeds, are you going to have pumpkins next year? No. We have to save our seeds and we have to plant them in the next year or someone else does it for us, of course. But so how do plants make seeds for the next year? Means what kind of flowers they have. So let's go find out. Now, let's see here. I'm looking for some flowers. I'm looking for a very special kind of flower. Pumpkins are special because they have male flowers and female flowers. Now, oh, I see some at the end of our pumpkin tunnel. Goodness gracious, isn't this amazing? They're almost to the other side. Now, where were those? Oh, I see some. Look, here we have a male flower. It's going up like this. Now the flower hasn't opened up, but that's a male flower and a little bee is gonna come and it's gonna get pollen. Now, this is a female flower. It was big and the bee went in and pollinated and here on the female flower were all these little um, baby seeds waiting to be pollinated. And then when the pollen came and pollinated them, it's going to grow up to be a big pumpkin. Well, that's a long pie pumpkin. That's that skinny one that tricks you. So that is the female flower. It has what's called the ovary that's going to grow into the pumpkin that we eat. And you see the male, it doesn't have an ovary. It just makes pollen, and the pollen goes to the female and pollinates it, and then she makes the pumpkin. Here is an open male flower. See, it has a long stem, and there is the open flower for the bee to come in, or the bumblebee or whatever, and see, there's the little pollen. So then it's going to bring the pollen to the female flower. Now. This female flower probably just got pollinated and her little flower is dying, but you can see how she's making a little baby round pumpkin. This one, see that? Another thing I wanted to say before we left our pumpkin tunnel is we actually also have winter squash here. This one, which I'm letting grow on the ground, is a pink banana. It's yellow now, but it can grow to be maybe four feet long. I don't know if we'll be that successful, but there's another kind of winter squash. So there's all, these are the big guys, the winter squash, the pumpkins. 
Now let's go to something a little smaller. Oh, first the other pumpkin patch. So here we are in a pumpkin patch or winter squash patch. This kind of like most people are used to, it's sprawling all over the place. And look, let's go looking for the flowers. There you go. There's the male. See that guy? And over here, look, there's the flower. And can you see underneath? There's a little, little long pie pumpkin waiting to be fertilized. So see, there are the little places where the bee's gonna land and then gonna get pollinated. Yeah, there you go. Let's go now to the cucumbers. Oh no, zucchini, hold on. Now, zucchini is another kind of- Cucurbit. And there's lots of different kinds of zucchini. You've got light skin green zucchini and you have the dark green zucchini that you're used to. And then we've got some yellow zucchini. Sometimes there's even round zucchini. Did you know that? So they have the same thing. If you're growing zucchini, go look for the male and female flowers. That's really fun. And you can watch um, your zucchini get bigger and bigger. You've done this, I'm sure. It's, zucchinis are so easy to grow. Now, one thing I also want to show you about zucchini. See these little gray patches on the leaves? Don't worry about those. It's not a disease. It's normal. They can get powdery mildew later in the season, but right now this is normal. So this is another kind of cucurbit in the garden is our zucchini. Now, what I want to show you is a little, little, little cucumber. I mean, sorry, a little, little cucurbit, right? This is mouse melons. And the mouse melons are starting to grow up our trellis. See them? And they have the same kind of vine. Look at those little adorable tendrils. Oh my goodness. So they've got tiny little tendrils and tiny little vines, but the same idea. You can tell it's in the cucurbit family. Now, our mouse melons don't have any flowers yet. They're still young, but they're coming. I see little places where they're gonna come out. So these are mouse melons. And you remember from last year, they're so delicious. They're gonna grow all the way up by the time school starts to get in fall. And remember them? They're like little watermelons. And remember how crunchy and kind of sour they are? Everyone loved them so much that we have grown a lot of mouse melons for you. So this is our tiniest little cucurbit we have. Now, the last cucurbit we're growing cucurbit. is a cucumber. So here we are at our cucumber teepee. And these cucumbers, they weren't doing so well actually because they don't like it so cold. And we've had a terribly cold month of June and now July so far, but they're starting to grow. And you can see we need to start putting string up. So they will also, like the other vining squash plants, they will start to grow up. And oh, I see a tiny little female flower forming. Can you see that right there? That is a tiny, tiny female flower forming. That is going to be a cucumber one day. Isn't that amazing? So look for these on your plants. Now, these cucumbers, they're all different kinds. We'll, we'll go look at some others in the hoop house. These were cold, but they're getting big. Now, here we are in the, another cucumber bed, and you can see how these are growing up, just like our pumpkins, but they're cucumbers. They're starting to grow up. Now, these have smaller leaves. See, these are different shaped leaves. Over here, these have bigger leaves. It's a slightly different kind of cucumber. There are gonna be cucumbers here that are small, some that grow really, really long, some that might be round and yellow, called lemon cucumbers. So within the cucumbers, there are so many kinds of cucumbers. So now we're gonna to have to count those too. So it's kind of early for us to count because we have to wait to see what kind they are. But you can see now these are all our cucumbers. Now I wanna show you how well they're growing in the hoop house. Let's look in the hoop house. Look how tall they're getting. You know why? What's the difference between inside the hoop house and outside? Right, 
it's so much warmer. It's not cold, it's nice and warm and cozy in here and the cucumbers love it when they're warm. So if your cucumbers aren't growing yet, it's because they're cold. Wait till it gets warmer and then boom, up they go. And you can see, here they go. And so here, instead of having that hog panel for the cucumbers to grow up, we're growing them on these strings and you can see how their tendrils are grabbing on. And then as they grow, we kind of put the string around so they can go up. And pretty soon, these are gonna go up to the top and they'll have all these fantastic cucumbers dangling down. So this is our cucumber bed in the hoop house and look at here. These are the cucumbers we planted first. And you can see there's little flowers forming and little baby cucumbers. Ah, I see one here. Can you see that little cucumber forming? I think we're two weeks away from cucumbers. Now we've talked about the cucurbit family. Cucurbit. And we have our pumpkins and winter squash and zucchini and mouse melons and cucumbers. That's what's growing here at the farm. And what I wanna talk about next in our next video is the legume family, which is the pea and bean family. So thank you for asking that question and we'll go on to the next one. Okay, bye.